As promised, Mike Johnson's here to talk about this Leafs win. It's great to have you in the studio. I'm so excited. I never get to see you anymore. I'm actually at the desk. This is a big day for me. This is amazing. You're always on the road, calling yes. games overseas, calling NHL games. You're just always on the road. We never get you here in your hometown, no less. I know. Listen, usually I'm talking to you through, like, computers and screens and monitors. So, yeah, in person, it's not any better. So, That's we're good, good to go. It's almost worse, really. <laughs> it's like a letdown. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Austin Matthews, oh, that's that what I want. I wanted right. to ask you about that guy. It was funny because as demoralized as Leaf Nation was after that game mm -hmm. one loss, there was still that caveat like Austin Matthews wasn't great in game one, but he was probably as good as the Leafs could be in game one. He was the best of the Leafs mm -hmm. in game one despite the loss. And yet you're still expecting more from him, and he just delivers massively. In yeah, and I think that's a fair assessment, especially of game one where he was pretty – he was okay. He yeah. generated his chances. He had his shots. He had the one off the post that he would otherwise score. But I think the moment that Leaf fans have been looking for is for one of their big stars to sort of take a game like, we're going to win this because of me. Right. And they have enough talented players that they could do that at times. It just hasn't happened as often as the Leafs would have liked. But for in tonight's game, Austin Matthews – was the singular tour de force. This goal was great. I kind of equate it to like a quarterback just chucking it up there because I got a better wide receiver. Yeah. And Max Domi, nice little flip pass. Austin Matthew comes in alone. Sweet move, but it was more than that. It was the 200 foot game, three points, eight shots, six hits, 70% of the faceoff, almost 24 minutes on the ice. This is what the best player in the series and maybe one of the best players in the world is supposed to do. Not every night you're not going to have this, but occasionally. And certainly one of his biggest individual performances as a Toronto Maple Leaf, given the stakes and the stage. Oh, and uh, they needed it. And, and now, as bad as it may have felt after game one, 1-1 one, one coming home, Feels you sign up good. for that every time. Right. And the fact of the matter is they've only given up three even strength goals against in two games pretty good defensively as well. So, so some things to build off and feel good about if you're the Toronto Maple Leafs. And, you know, going back to game one, there was so much talk about the fact that Samsonov was so bad, and so bad really at the end of the regular season, mm -hmm. that why wouldn't they go to Joseph Wall for game two right now? And you have a feeling that maybe they even considered it, and yet again, mm -hmm. he came through just like he has all season. He has the dips, he comes mm -hmm. back, he plays great, and he did that on, on Monday night. So there may be a lot of people who question Samsonov and how good he might be. The one guy who doesn't question it is Samsonov. Like you heard him after game one, sort of defiantly saying, I'm fine. We'll put that behind me. I'm yeah. fine. We'll be fine as a team, as an individual. And you need that kind of self-belief to be a goalie, especially in Toronto where every good goal or bad goal is going to be criticized and scrutinized. And he was excellent He had to, when he had to be. And, you know, he's never going to be technically pretty. In that. You know, he slides around a little bit, but he was battling. He was reaching, and he came up with the timely saves. Not just the number of them, of course, he kept them to two. But this one... Right at the beginning of the third period, that would have been an entirely different kind of game. Yeah. And to come up with this, like that is world-class stuff from Samsonov and rewarding his belief in himself, teammates' belief in him. I guess the coaches as well, because you say the coaches would have considered it. Of course they considered it. <laughs> they would have. And if Joseph Wall had played better down the stretch, they who, probably would have gone there. Uh, who knows who would have started game one. Right. right. I mean, who, yeah. Maybe not even game one. Yeah. But he played well enough. Of course he's going to be the goalie going forward now. And... If he can just be as good, then you have to be wildly better than a Swayman or Olmark, who are both better goalies than Samsonov. But he gives them performance that is basically as good as Boston's. The Toronto Maple Leafs will like their chances in the series. We've talked about a lot of positive stuff. What do you think this team needs to clean up going into Wednesday? So no games are going to be perfect, right? Like yeah. this is what sports are all about. Yeah. But there are mistakes that you can correct easily and mistakes that are harder. Like So try to control the forecheck. That's, that's a little trickier. Not cross-checking people when there's no play going on. That's a whole lot easier. So Jake McCabe, not sure what you're doing. Your penalty kill is already struggling. And wouldn't you know it, game opens up on that really dumb, Jake McCabe would say it, dumb penalty. And he wasn't the only one. Late in the game, Tyler Bertuzzi, they have the lead. He takes the slashing penalty on Marchand. He knew Marchand's going to go down, and it was a slash. And he goes to the box. This is the stuff that Sheldon Keefe and the Leafs know they need to clean up. They can't give Boston... This series is going to be so tight. Yeah. They can't give Boston anything easy. And those are sort of easy moments that you just can't afford to do. They had some bad ones in game one, a couple of bad ones in game two. Hopefully they can improve on that and just play. If you're going to take a penalty, you know, it happens. You can be a hook, a hit, a cross, whatever. But don't make them silly, irresponsible penalties like that, lack of discipline. That would be nice to clean up out of their game. Game three Wednesday, you're going to hang out 
here with us uh, after the... On Wednesday? Yeah. I will call in okay. remotely if you'd okay. like me to. But okay. uh, no, I won't you be here. You Next be week, I'll be here. back. Okay, okay, perfect. Yes, I'll great. see you on game six. Okay, great. I'm Amazing. already calling a game six that it's going to get there awesome. because it will. And I'll be back here. Okay, perfect. That's great because I thought maybe this would be, this would be your only appearance.